Welcome everyone to my simple image editor tutorial where I'll show you how to make something sort of similar to paint. Um, so what I have right now is pretty basic. You can open an image and then you can choose a color and adjust the size that you want to draw at. And right now it just draws a bunch of little boxes because I'm keeping it pretty simple right now. Um, I might expand on it later. And then you can save it, of course. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to keep it real simple so that the code isn't too complex. So we'll start at the top. And we have two different graphics things. One for the screen and one for the image. And then we have an image to save all that information so it can be saved later to um, your desktop or wherever. We have a color which is the drawing color and then we have a boolean variable that controls whether um, you're currently drawing or not on the mouse move. So when we load this um, we assign G which is a graphics thing to be the panel 1 graphics um, because we don't need the form graphics for this because we have other buttons. So like if you have buttons like these it's better if you assign a panel graphics that way you don't have to worry about these getting overwritten or looking really weird. And then we create a bitmap that's the size of that panel. And then we create graphics from that image that we just created here. We clear it all to white. On the mouse down, we set it to true. And on mouse up, we set drawing to false. So when you click down and you drag here in the mouse move, if, it's, if you've just clicked down, it's going to be drawing is true until you click up. It's going to create a rectangle. We use the track bar values in there and then we uh, fill the rectangle with the color and then we fill that this this rectangle here and then we draw um, the image to the screen and this isn't the image that you loaded in this is just basically we're drawing to the image here and then we're drawing to the screen this image to the screen. So that may be a little bit confusing, but basically you draw to a copy and then you draw that finally to the screen. So it's a little bit smoother that way. And then here's a save file code. It's pretty simple. Um, basically you create a new dialog, you open it up, and then you get that file name and you just save it to there. And then um, the format we have it saving as is bitmap, but there's a bunch of others, as you can see. And then here's the open file dialog. So you're going to show the dialog. You're going to grab that image, open it up using the file name that you've selected. Hey, you could, I don't have it filtering, so you could select something that's unable to be open. You might cause an error with that. Um, and then we go ahead and draw it to the image. And then that's drawn to the panel to the screen so that it shows up right when you uh, open it. So yeah, that's pretty pretty simple. Um, if you like this tutorial, give it a like and um, maybe a comment or something. And I might expand on it. I've done a lot of like image editing stuff, but I've never kind of like put it together in a program like Paint or whatever. So I mean, there's a lot of things I haven't touched on yet. Um, so I might do a little bit more in-depth sort of things for that. So yeah, anyways, um, go ahead and remember if you leave like a comment below that's asking me to program something, I will probably program it provided I haven't already done that and provided at the time. Um, so if you have anything that you want to learn how to program in C Sharp. So alright, um, that's all for this video. Um, and until next time, bye.